complacency seems to be sort of the root cause of demise in a lot of historical examples, just my opinion and conclusion reading and studying what I have. Uh, Guy, there's been a lot of news. I mean, it's the bear market woes. Um, What is one or one thing in particular that's really sticking out to you during all of this? Just in the bear market in general? Bear market in quotes. Bear market in quotes. Um, uh, really, it's probably how well Bitcoin is positioned right now. Um, is that this feels like... I mean, I guess everything in Bitcoin now, like when you... I've been in Bitcoin for so long that I, I feel like everything is just compared to the Mt. Gox implosion um, and the 2013, 2014 hype cycle and vicious bear market is that it truly felt like for anybody who was there, it truly felt like the whole place, the whole system was dead. Like that, like everything was gone. Mt. Gox, like just a couple of months before their implosion was 90% of the liquidity for the entire global Bitcoin market. Like they were it. Mt. Gox was Bitcoin at the time. And to have that go under, it felt like death. It felt like it was done. Um, And a lot of people were certain. Like we bought some GPUs off of a friend of ours who had gotten into Bitcoin or whatever. And he like he had a computer and he was like, dude, man, it was really cool. But this shit's up like like it's over and and we were like man i really don't think so i really think this is just this is just an awful horrible growing pain and i think you're i think you're i think you have the wrong assessment of of where we are right now like i don't think i think it'll be a long time before we come back but i don't think this thing's done and now like like having that is kind of my foundation for what a bear market feels like this is like Eh, I like I, I don't know. It just like there's nothing about le- the legitimacy or the long term survival of Bitcoin that I feel like has been threatened at all, really. Um, in fact, the amount that's still being built and accomplished right now, outside like the only thing down is price. Like that's it, and everything else fundamental to what's happening here is nothing but better. I mean, even in the context of like negative developments, like the EU's obnoxious travel rule, it's being legitimized everywhere. It's being recognized as this is a permanent, a a permanent facet of reality. Like this is the new world. We live in a Bitcoin world Um, and it's here to stay. And only the people who always thought Bitcoin was going to zero still think Bitcoin's going to zero. and uh, so in that sense, I don't know. It's just, I mean, it sucks that the price is down. Sure. You know, I had to put up some, a uh, little bit more collateral. I have a, I have a small Bitcoin loan um, to work on stuff in the house. And I had to put up collateral. I was like, ah, damn, that, that sucks. Um, but I mean, other than that, it's, the price is down. Bitcoin seems fine. Yeah, it's pretty wild. The I agree. The the fundamentals have never been stronger. The the discount that we are seeing right now in relation to the strength of the network and the mind share that Bitcoin has, separate from all of the like life changing aspects of Bitcoin, which are more important than ever in the world we are living in now the one that is currently attempting to be forced on us um to me the asymmetric bet that bitcoin represents from a purely financial perspective has never been more in our favor it's it's remarkable (laughs) 